Hey, it's Charles Gaudet here. Let's face it, we all want to be liked, right? But what if trying to be liked actually hurt your ability to grow and hurt your ability to get more clients? Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's our topic today. So years ago, a mentor told me, Charlie, if 50% of your market doesn't hate you, you're not trying hard enough. Now, it took me a while to figure it out, but eventually I understood what he meant. You see, you have two polar extremes. You've got people who love you, and you got people who hate you. By nature, we remember those who we love and those who we hate. But everybody in the middle, well, they tend to be forgotten. In order to get people to love you, believe it or not, you have to accept that people are going to hate you. Don't try to please everyone. Let me give you an example of a few polarizing people today. Howard Stern. He was known as one of the most hated people on radio. He's rude, crude, and just downright shocking, yet was named by Forbes as one of the world's highest paid media personalities and the fifth highest earning worldwide. Elon Musk, it's no secret that he's polarizing as he consistently excites and rattles investors and customers. Steve Jobs was polarizing and he clearly delineated the difference between PC users and Apple users. Harley Davidson is polarizing. You're either a Harley person or you're not, there's no in between. Heck, even Gary Vaynerchuk, he's polarizing with his loud, obnoxious, swearing, etc. But he's extraordinarily successful. Look, stop trying to play it safe because no matter how hard you try, you still can't make everyone happy. You know, I once agreed with a quote that Tom Brady said where he said, uh, work-life balance is a myth perpetrated by average people. If you want to be the best, you, get, you, you must be willing to throw your life out of balance. Now, look, I thought that was completely harmless, but I got messages from people who hated it and got offended. And I got messages from people who loved it. And I created much more meaningful connections from those people who believed in the quote because they knew where I stood. Look, people recently complimented Microsoft for their four day work week. And I stated that if you needed a four day work week to, to motivate people, that it's symptomatic of a disengaged culture. And again, some people thought I was a jerk, and others loved that I brought this up. It's just a matter of pushing buttons, but it's it's what I believe, and it's making a memory. It, it's really, it's deepening the connection with my market. But I don't just speak my mind. I know what's most important in my market. You know, for example, I, I don't talk politics, because that's not what's most important in my market. It's other things, like working hard or developing a solid culture or not taking shortcuts or delivering a world-class service and experience and just being the absolute best version of themselves. So you gotta know your market and what's most important to them and speak out on the issues that means not only the most to them, but you know, be willing to speak against popular opinion if that's what's most important to your market and you genuinely believe in what it is that you're saying. Look, the point is that you'll make more money with a thousand clients that love you rather than 10,000 people who simply like you. People who love you will buy everything that you have to offer. They're gonna refer people to you. They'll remain loyal, etc. So don't be afraid to ruffle a few feathers. Just be bold and speak against popular opinion if it's necessary. Just be you, be genuine, be authentic, and where appropriate, be bold. That's today's tip. This is Charles Gaudet, and I will see you in another video.